it's fair to say that raising finance at the moment is very challenging. And so now more than ever, advisors like me need to be finding new sources of finance and helping clients do things differently. A number of wealthy people have seen this gap in the market. They've seen it as an opportunity to put money into private businesses where others are choosing not to or are unable to. And because of a lack of competition, they're able to get a good return from their investment. Typically, these are uh, entrepreneurs. They've made money by selling a business. The money is sat on deposit, and because of low interest rates, it's not getting a great return. And they see that better value can be achieved by investing into uh, businesses directly. They back their own judgment once, and that's how they've made money, and they're prepared to back their own judgment again. They're not shy of taking a chance, because what they know is business. This is not dissimilar to business angel funding. We're talking about active investors, people that want to be involved in the business, but whereas business angels typically invest in tens of thousands of pounds or sometimes up to six-figure sums, and take small stakes in businesses, this type of investor is looking to invest in chunks of hundred thousands or millions. It won't come as a surprise that lots of this funding is finding its way into businesses that are financially stretched or businesses that have gone through some form of insolvency arrangement. And this is because the ability to provide money quickly uh, where there's little competition means that those investors can get a very good deal for their investment. Now that type of finance won't suit everybody but I think it's got a great place to play in the market at the moment. Again, if you look at the polarisation, you've got the good credit risks, which don't need this type of finance at all, and you've got everybody else. And it's the everybody else category that I think this is relevant to. But another way of raising finance for a business and injecting cash into a business. For businesses that own their own property, the conventional way of raising finance is to take a bank loan secured against the value of that property. But there's another option, and that's selling the property. Now, why might you want to do that? Well, if you sell the property, you're realizing 100% of the value of the property. If you're borrowing against it, you may, Simon, get typically 60 to 70% of the value of that property. And depending on your cash need as a business, you might prefer the 100% rather than 60 to 70%. If I talk to business owners about selling their property, the immediate response is, absolutely no. I'm not going to do it. Uh, That's my security. That's my pension. Ah, so that's my pension. Well, that leads me into the next thing. What about using your pension fund to actually buy that property? If you're a business owner with a substantial pension pot, you might not have cash personally outside of the business to inject into the company, but you've got this pot of cash or pot of assets tied up for the future that usually you can't touch. But what you can do is use your pension fund to buy the property from the company. In a nutshell, how does it work? Well, you free up some of your assets that sit within the pension fund, shares, stocks, bonds, turn those into cash, potentially top that up with a bank loan as well, and use that cash to buy the property from the company. Cash goes into the business to be used for whatever purpose it's required for, and the property sits within the pension fund. You haven't lost control. The control is indirect. It was indirect before because it was controlled through your company. Now it's controlled through your pension fund. You're locking that property away for the future and you're creating cash liquidity in your business.